Okay, so this whole entire recipe will be posted on my Patreon, guys. Um, I started a Patreon a few uh, weeks ago, maybe like a week and a half ago, uh, almost two weeks, and I post all of the recipes on there. So $10 a month will give you unlimited access to so many different classes and resources and recipes and candle making classes. So you wanna be a part of it, um, go ahead and click the link in the description box and it'll take you right over to it. Okay guys, so this is fully melted down. It's still a little hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my safflower oil. Now I could have just added it in the beginning, which I should have, but I'm just gonna add it right now because I kind of forgot it. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some um, distilled water and vegetable glycerin to this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this phase into that phase, but let me go ahead and get this a little stir really quick, just stirring that vegetable glycerin and the water, just making sure that's evenly combined. I'm going to add these two together. You can just go ahead and just kind of stir that together, incorporate it. And now I want you to go ahead and add your avocado oil. Okay, so after you stick blend it, this should be the texture that you get. It should be nice and creamy. Um, not too thick or whatever. It's really not pipeable. Like at this point, if you wanted to take it and pour it into your jars, you could do it that way. But I'm more of a piping person, so I'd rather do it that way. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of fragrance to mine. And then I'm going to let it thicken up. I'm going to just let it sit for a while so it could just, you know, the consistency can change. But as you can see, it's very beautiful, very creamy. I love it. <laughs> I can't wait to see the actual um, final result when it's finished thickening up. So I'm just gonna give it some time and leave it sit. And I'm gonna come back guys and show you what the final result look like. And I'm gonna pipe it into a jar. All right. Okay, so our cream has thickened up and this is the consistency of it guys. It's not too thick. Um, it's, definitely, it's definitely not a greasy thick. This is really cream. Like uh, if I would compare it to anything, I would compare it to like a lotion, you know, but it is a butter. And so it's definitely not um, thick like a greasy body butter, okay? All right, so with that being said, guys, we're gonna go ahead and just take this and put this into a piping bag. I'm gonna put it inside of my containers. good now i was trying to figure out what could i scent avocado like think about it this is avocado i know i'm not going to use like an avocado scent so like what could i use so i got this cool box from northwood candle supply and this is their 2023 collection their new fragrance collection and it has all of these wonderful samples on the inside of it and now listen guys i you know me i don't promote companies and stuff like that i normally don't do that but when i use this applejack and raspberry fragrance i was like wait a minute this brought this avocado butter to life i could not think of another fragrance that i would use inside of this butter to make it smell so good like it smells so good to the point where 
I was like, this butter is for me and my family. <laughs> I'm gonna make another batch for my pop-up. No, I'm gonna make a huge batch for my pop-up shop when I go to do that. But you know, this is for me and my family anyway. But anyway, this, this is really good. I'm gonna order the whole 16 ounce bottle because I can't imagine making this avocado butter without it. It's so many different fragrances in here. We got coconut milk, citrus blossom and honey, dandelion, dandelion and lemon tea. You got Hawaiian and Barossa, um, peach and something else. I can't even <laughs> pronounce the name. It's a lot of them and it's raspberry tart, sun-kissed ginger, and I would probably use that sun-kissed ginger in some bath salts or something like that. Sound good. Bergamot and wild fern. These smell really good. And guys, if I was you, I would just go and order this little sample pack. It comes with about three different rolls of fragrance and you can just kind of top fry it out and your candles or your body products and um, see what you like, you know, cause this was really good for a small batch. Cause I was able to just, you know, make like, what was it like two jars, three jars out of that. I think it's like two jars and I pretty much use a little teeny tiny bit of it and I still got enough to do more. So this can just kind of give you an idea or, you know, whatever, just it make it easier for you to choose what you want to put like what scent you want to choose for your butters okay so check them out it's northwood and this is their new fragrance collection <laughs> all right okay all right y'all so look we're gonna go ahead and just start piping oh it's so beautiful look at it look at the consistency of it, it is so magnificent i'm loving it Oh yes, this is going to sell like hotcakes. Oh my God, I'm just excited about it. Don't this look good? It looks so good. Oh my God. And you get to flex your piping muscles up in here. Yes, talk about it. So I always like to get some in the middle. That's just how I pipe. I'm sorry y'all, I'm just hitting the camera. Okay, and I like that. That looks really nice, but I'm gonna take it all the way up to the top just for some nice photography and let people see that texture of that butter love. Okay, that's the avocado. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay guys, so this is it for our avocado butter. I'm going to post some pics and I hope you like it. You see how fluffy it is? Like when I'm tapping it, it's moving. Like, oh my God, I like that. Ah! All right, guys.